Whiskey Jason here, Whiskey Live Dublin 2022, together with Alex from Slane Distillery. Hey, it's great to finally meet you, I must admit. I've seen you online a few times, that's very, very good. Now, you and your family own a castle, can we say that? I, I'm lucky enough to live in it. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, it's, yes. Uh, it's... And it's just not any castle, it's, an, it's a castle with a history of rock music. Yeah, it would be recognized as kind of the, the home of outdoor live music in yeah, Ireland. Yeah. Uh, first gig was 1981, yeah. Year of the Troubles, and Dad had a crazy idea to put on a rock concert in the back garden. Yeah. So And it worked. It worked, it worked. So we were genuinely saved by rock and roll. Yeah, right? yeah. And, uh, whis whiskey, and uh, whiskey and rock and roll go well together. You know? Yeah, that's, that's very, very good. Now, you have a brand, it's called Slain. Yes. Um, it's been on the market for, I'm gonna say at least eight years. Uh, 2017. Okay, but uh, but before that? So before that, we had Slain Castle Whiskey. Ah, that's what uh, I meant. That's why I had, I had yeah, one yeah. of the original Slain. Even before that, you had something. Yeah, so let's go did. way back in time, yeah? yeah? So yeah. Slain Castle Whiskey. Yeah, so that was uh, sourced from the Cooley Distillery right. at the time. Yep. We worked with the Teeling family. and. Um, that kind of set us on the journey because yep. we knew we had a brand yep. in terms of slain and, and whiskey and music go well together. Yep. So we sourced liquid from someone else. Yep. That came to an end in 2012 when right. the distillery was acquired. Yeah. We lost our supply. Yeah. Beam said no. <laughs> yeah, so I, I went to dad and I said, right, there's good news and there's bad news. <laughs> it's like, what's the bad news? And I said, Beam said no. Yeah. But... So what, and he's like, what's the good news? We got to build our own distillery, yes. Dad. And he's like, I don't know if that's good news, but uh, <laughs> that's what we then set out on the journey to do, and 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 here we are today. We did a deal with Brown Foreman in yep. 2015. I think one of the best moves in Irish whiskey ever. Yeah, well, you know, we're very lucky to have them, and and it was very much a meeting yep. of minds yep. because they they're a big business. Yep. They got Jack Daniels and other brands, but they are still very family orientated and. I've been lucky enough to grow up with slaying and we have to think about the next generation beyond yeah. and they do too. Yeah. So, you know, it was it was people based, um, but their whiskey making credentials and their route to market and nothing else. And the cooperage with the oh, barrels. Yeah. I was like a kid in a candy store <laughs> getting my hands on those barrels, yeah. literally. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Now talk about your distillery. Yeah. Now you've actually installed pot stills and column stills, haven't you? Yeah. Which we, is uh, <laughs> unique for that size. Yeah, it is. So I wanted to be able to make all three styles right. of Irish whiskey. And in order to do that, you need columns. The only problem with the columns was we're in a, we're in a protected <laughs> structure, Listed right? building, yes. So <laughs> there was no way I was going to be able to build columns eight, nine stories yeah. high. So we split the analyzer and the rectifier into three so yes. we actually have six columns <laughs> and not only that it's an all barley mash bill yeah so we grow our own barley that's one of the things that makes us a little different yeah so i i produce about a thousand tons a year mm -hmm. thereabouts we grow malting barley and straight barley yep. so that means that when we are putting it through the column stills most people are um are putting other cereals through column stills. Usually the corn, the maize, yeah. Yeah, maybe so a little bit of wheat. <laughs> so we're 80% on malted barley. Yeah, okay. Not easy to do. Oh, that's we're true. Making, that's we're true. making a very different grain whiskey as a result. All right, very good. Hammer mill, roller mill? Uh, we have a six roll Bueller mill. Ah. Because you need the extra set of rollers to crack the unmalted barley. That, that stuff, malt, lovely, crunchy. Yeah. You might need a trip to the dentist after you've been chewing on straight body. So it's tough. I, I found out this it's week tough. about that. I didn't know. It was like, really? Oh, yeah, yeah makes sense. That's yeah. very good. Now, talk about your pot stills. How big? What are, are you double still, double no, distillation, triple? So we're, we're very much about triple distillation. Yep. Uh, so we source them from Macmillan in yep. Preston Pans in Scotland. Mm -hmm. They are not hybrid, they are old school, 100% hand beaten copper on the top section. Yep. Uh, I was personally very involved in designing yes. them because. I insisted on them being in the old buildings. And what I love about still design is they're always dictated by their environment. Right. So sh the lead pot uh, <laughs> is 13,000 liters. Oh. That was the largest pot I could fit in there while still allowing visitors yes. in and preserving the architectural fabric. So wide neck, but kind of tall. That's and, still big. Yeah, but tall and skinny, <laughs> okay, yeah. you know? So, but you need that wide neck for that right. Irish character and then it narrows in again. We wanted to create as much turbulence as possible mm -hmm. for maximum copper contact. So our last still has a full boiling ball on it. Okay. And uh, she's down 6,000 liters. Okay, it's still nice. So we produce a very, I think, nicely refined spirit. Lots of character though. Yeah, very, very good. So triple distillation, very, very nice. 
Um, so you use your own, it's grain to glass, basically. Yeah. That's very, very nice. And then your cask you actually get then from now Braun Foreman, basically, unless it's something special, yeah, so, so, your some sherry. We, some we do. So the sherry, yeah. uh, we get those from the Payaz family in, yeah. uh, oh, in okay. Hera. Good connections. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> fantastic. And, and actually what's interesting about them, like Brian Foreman, they have their own cooperage. Yes. So they make the barrels and their works about expensive to buy in, but worth every penny. Yep. All right, very, very good. Now, um, your filling strength, 63.5%, uh, or where in, do you go? In and around. In and around, uh, okay. So it's going to be anywhere between roughly 62 to like 64. All right. Kind of in that ballpark. Good, very good. Now, we had some new bottles, for me at yes. least. I've held up the standard slain, yeah. which is great. Uh, price in Ireland is? So in Ireland, you're under 35 euros. Exactly. Yeah. I was going to say 32 something around yeah. that line. Now, you also have here, this is a travel retail bottle, yes. I think. Yeah. What's this? Uh, this is extra sherry wood. Yes. Because Slain has a triple cast whiskey, we do our barrels separately. Yep. So it's not sequential, it's simultaneous and separate. It's a bit like being at the music desk. Are you the master blender as well now? I'm not the master blender. <laughs> we have Garo Cowell, ah. who's Dr. Garo Cowell. He's yes. uh, one of Ireland, one of only two double masters in Ireland. He's a master brewer and a master distiller. Yep. So um, <laughs> he oversees production, but yep. I've, I've been very involved in putting the, the product together. So because we do the barrel separately, what we were able to do is say, right, let's increase the proportion of sherry right. glass. And what you end up with is a whiskey that is very rich on the nose or in like Christmas cake territory mm -hmm. uh, and a little more spice on the finish. Yep. We raised the ABV a little bit as well. We took it up to uh, 45 or 90 proof. Excellent. And that, that just allows the spice finish to really kind of shine as well. Very, very good. And then the last one was here, the legacy uh, of yeah. 81. Well. Uh oh, so special edition. So I was six years old for the first Slane concert yeah. with Ben Lizzie and U2. And I wouldn't be here today if dad had not done that first show. So because of the pandemic, we yeah. couldn't do a gig. Yeah. So we said, let's produce a different blend to commemorate the occasion. Yeah. It's a once off. Uh, and what we did here is we raised the proportion of the Virgin Oak. Right. And that new wood, you know, it's quite aggressive, but what it does is it delivers a lovely wood hit on mm -hmm. the back of the palate. And uh, loads of vanilla as well. So it's like a slightly sweeter, more wood intense version of the cool blend. A little higher in ABV, notched up to 45, yeah. uh, because I wanted that wood hit to really deliver. So it packs a little more of a punch. Very good. Distribution, you're fairly well um, positioned all over the world, aren't you? Not all over the world. Not all over. Okay, no North Korea. No, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. But uh, we are uh, New Zealand. Australia, France, Germany, Ireland, UK, and of course America yep. is very important. So, you know, we will expand, okay. but we want to make sure that when we go into a market, we can give it the focus and investment that it needs. Yep. So, you know, one of the great things about being part of Brand Foreman is we don't do things in a hurry, we yeah. try to do it right. Very, very good. And you are a visitor center distillery, oh, so yeah, we can actually yeah. come visit you. Oh, yeah, we're a fully working. I designed the distillery to be a working, production facility that visitors can enjoy so yeah it's immersive you can see the fermentation happening we can't let you in the mill house <laughs> that's the only bit right dust explosion risk but otherwise you get to see every part of the process very good and if we want to find out more about the history and about the brands www uh slain irish whiskey.com okay very very good it was a pleasure meeting you thank cheers, you very Jackson. much thanks a million cheers Let's launch it